Hey Hatchlings, it's Dragonfeather and welcome back to the channel. So for today's episode, it was kind of really unplanned and forgive the random frazzliness of this video because I literally just felt really strongly about this topic and I really needed to make a video about it because um, there has been a post going around and I'm not sure where the actual original um, post is from. I do believe it's from a user on Instagram, though I could be wrong, but it is a spell to bind President Donald Trump tonight, um, February 24th of 2017. And normally, I really wouldn't make a video like this, um, but I felt really super strongly about it and I really needed to talk to everybody in the pagan community. Um, especially those of you who plan on doing this ritual tonight, um, I'm directly speaking to you. So I know that many of us are not very excited about who our president is. I myself am included in that. Like I do not like our president. I don't agree with what he does. I don't, I don't, I really just, I feel like he is a very, bad man. Though I, I must say I've never met him in person. I do not know this man. I do not know much about him from what I've seen on TV and on the internet and so on. And I do believe that this is where most of us stand with him. We just don't know who he is. And I think it's very important to stress the fact that he is a human being and that just because he's doing all of these awful things and he's been a complete disgrace to this country in my opinion, um, I do not believe he deserves to have a bunch of witches attacking him. Um, I don't believe he deserves to be binded, nor do I feel like anyone who participates in this is going to be happy with the outcome. Um, instead, I really do feel like we should be taking the time to remove ourselves from this situation and really ask ourselves why we want to cast a binding spell on President Trump because where, where is this coming from? Is this coming from a place of fear that he's going to you know, ruin the country? Is this coming from a place of anger and hatred towards him from what he's done to people? Or is it coming from a place of love for everyone in this planet? on this planet? Or is it coming from a place of wanting to spread peace and positivity and wanting to protect everyone who may have been affected by him? Um, I personally will not be participating in a binding ritual for um, President Trump. I do not agree with organizing mass, mass rituals to bind somebody. Um, via online. I think that it is a very bad idea and is a part of techno-paganism that really should not be messed with. Um, I really think we should not use the power of the internet to bind people in power. I just, I don't feel like that is going to be the right type of vibrational energy we should be putting out into the universe right now. Instead, I highly encourage everybody who wants to participate in this binding spell on President Trump, I highly, highly, highly encourage you to reconsider and instead maybe cast a protection spell around the, you know, groups of minorities who are being affected by his actions like Muslim and LGBTQ communities and, you know, women who are now losing our reproductive rights. Um, I, I have so much passion for the equality of every single human being on this planet and we are all equal and that includes President Trump. And I believe that we all deserve respect and that includes President Trump, even though he might not be the best person, you know what I mean? Um, he might not be our ideal president, and I understand that, and I completely hear where everybody is coming from, and I understand everybody is so emotional about this, but I really do urge you to take a moment to separate yourself from how you're feeling about the situation, and really take the time to consider why you feel so strongly about the situation, and what can you do to bring a positive impact um, in like to come out of this situation? What can you do that's positive? What can you do that's loving? What can you do that's peaceful to transform this negative energy into love? Because that is the point. That is the whole entire point of what's going on right now, in my personal opinion. And 
for me personally, I feel like tonight is the best night to raise some love and light for those who are affected by, by what's going on with our president right now, um, by casting protection spells again around the people who are being affected most by him, and you know, really putting out those strength, positive vibes, really, you know, make it known to the universe that you want these people who you resonate with to be safe, sound, protected, and living in a peaceful and loving environment. And that is how I feel about this situation. And for me personally, on a very, very core level, I believe that all humans are equal, we all deserve respect, and it doesn't matter how we treat, it doesn't matter how shitty someone has behaved, they still deserve to be treated with respect. And I do know people are going to disagree with me on that, but that is totally fine. Like, you have your right to your opinion, and I'm not here to take that away from you. All I'm here to do is share with you my opinion, because I am entitled to that, and I really felt the need to share this because I feel like so many of us right now are so riled up, are so afraid, are so confused and angry and fearful and, you know, we just want to, we just want to protect the ones we love. And dude, I totally hear you. I agree with you. I'm doing the same thing. But right now and tonight, I feel like it is the best time to perform protection spells and love spells. Um, like self-love spells and world peace spells for the planet. Not only just the United States, because trust me, it's been quite crazy in the U.S. these past few months, but I mean on a global scale, because President Trump does affect the whole world. Like that, that it just happens, you know? It's just the reality of the situation. And for those of you who are afraid living out of the United States, who want to bind President Trump, I completely understand and hear where you're coming from. And trust me when I say this, you're not standing alone. Like I completely, you know, your feelings are valid. That's what I'm trying to say. It's like your feelings are valid and everybody has the right to feel the way they're feeling right now. And I just really think it's important for us to take a moment to step back from that and really look at the bigger picture here um, and really decide what is going to be the best action to take to bring the best, most peaceful, most high vibrational, um, loving experience that we can that we can create because that's the whole point. That's why we're here. We are here to raise the con to raise this planet to a vibration of love and light and peace and harmony. And I I do believe within the core of my being that the majority of the people who are here today are here to make a difference for the better. So that's why I wanted to make this video today. This is really not my normal content. So um, I just felt the need to really get this message out there as fast as I possibly could because it was brought up to me. I discovered this whole thing um, in the Hatchling Clan over on Amino Apps and everybody was posting about it and everybody has so like just polar opposite views like everybody's all over the place. It's really hard to agree right now um, and I know that a lot of people are feeling um, a very very dire need to stop this man from what he's doing and I agree with you guys I agree that he must be stopped from you know doing who knows God knows what the guy is gonna do you know what I mean like we don't need a fucking wall okay like I get you but like we don't need to send hate to a hateful person we don't need to um, bind someone and take away their will in order to protect everyone else. That's not, that's no, no, no. What we're trying to do here is unify the human species, okay? That is what we're trying to do here. And believe it or not, that Republicans and Democrats are both human beings. Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump are both human beings. And you and me are both human beings. Everybody who's watching this video now, I'm assuming is a human being because you kind of have to have you know, the human thing to like use the internet, you know what I mean? Unless you're a fucking alien. If you're an alien, I'm so sorry you got dragged into our human bullshit. Thank you for not destroying us yet. Thanks. That uh, much appreciated. But the point is, is that we're trying to unify all of us, um, no matter who we are. And this includes the hateful people. This includes the people who are in power. This includes the people who think that 
being gay is a sin and that you can be electrified. You can get electroshock therapy to, to fucking fix yourself. No, that shit is child abuse. That shit is human abuse. Um, and even those people who believe those things, they are still humans. They are still human beings and they are a part of us and we are a part of them. We are all one and before we can really understand and grasp that at a fundamental level, we are going to be in chaos. We are going to be in darkness and we will still fight each other. So I am sending all of my love and light to you guys today. And I am sending my love and light to Donald Trump too. And I know that might sound really weird to a lot of people, but you know what? The guy's in a really tough position and I just hope that he realizes what he, you know, can do in the situation that he's in. And I hope that he will surprise everybody and really be the leader that this country needs right now. So even if he's not, you know, like even if he really does some shitty things in the years to come, you know, I still don't hate him. I don't, I don't wish anything bad upon him. Um, of course, sometimes I do wish that he can be revoked from his position <laughs> in, as president, um, but he does not deserve hatred, just like you don't, just like I don't. We don't deserve to hate and hurt each other. So I'm sending my love and light to everybody out tonight and many positive vibes to everyone. And please, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or if maybe you're just feeling weird right now, please feel free to leave a comment below. And um, you can follow me in the Hatchling Clan and send me a message on the Hatchling Clan and I will respond to everybody over in the Hatchling Clan. So please feel free to join us over there where we keep a safe and positive community for everybody to learn and express themselves and support each other along our journeys. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful night tonight. Please think about what you're doing before you cast a spell. So we want to cast our spells out of, you know, logical thought, out of positive, peaceful intentions, and we don't want to do it out of angry emotion and rage, you know what I mean? We don't, we don't want to put those vibes out into the universe because they will backfire on us. And I am speaking from personal experience, so learn from me, guys. Don't be a dumbass. <laughs> so I wish everybody luck tonight with the chaotic energies that are flying around. Again, I am here for you. Please do not hesitate to contact me if you need help in this situation. I highly recommend messaging me on the Hatchling Clan. It is the easiest place to get a hold of me. And um, please feel free to leave your comments and all of that jazz down below. So I am going to get going here. I'm sorry that this video is a little bit long. I'm going to be leaving this video unedited because the quickest, the quicker I can get this video up, the better. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, but until next time, I will see you, no, but until next time, stay geeky cheeky and freaky little hatchlings, blessed be, and bye.